All right, hey friends, welcome to Classics in Color, your weekly dive into some of the ancient world's wackiest facts. I'm Mark Graves, and today we're gonna to be talking about love magic. The spells for this video come from the excellent book In Bed with the Ancient Greeks by Paul Crystal, so absolutely check that out if you're interested in looking into this further. Our first spell was written on a papyrus that was excavated from Egypt, and it comes in two parts. First, there's a recipe of a concoction that one should make, and then two, there's an incantation that one should say over this concoction. So the ingredients for the concoction are crow's egg, juice of a crow's foot plant, bile of electric catfish from the Nile, and then this should all be ground up with honey, and then once you've ground it up, you're supposed to smear it on your penis. And then the incantation that goes along with this is, oh, vagina of the lady that he's trying to seduce, open up and take the semen of myself and the unconquerable seed of myself. Let the lady love me for all of her life and let her remain chaste for me as Penelope did for Odysseus. And you, vagina, remember me all my life because I am a Carnacthus. Apologies for the pronunciation on that name. <laughs> I don't know why. I've taken several takes now and I think that's the closest I'm getting. So we're gonna go with that. So the gist of this spell, right, is that you make this concoction, you put it on your genitals, you say a spell, and then you go have sex with your lady love and she will stay forever in love with you and never have sex with anyone else is the idea, right? So it's different in that it is not a spell to make somebody fall in love with you or sleep with you for the first time, right? It's more concerned with that longevity. So that's interesting and it's interesting but also just really funny that he's not addressing the lady, he is addressing her vagina. We have a, another love spell that's quite similar. This one is performed by a husband to keep his wife from sleeping with anyone else. It's similarly humorous. It's different in that it is not on a papyrus. So this one actually comes from a book, a work of literature by Athenaeus. It's in the Learned Banqueters. So since it's literature, it's not something that was actually on a papyrus that somebody actually used as a spell, but it's also probably not that far off from being a decent representation of what spells were like. I bind you, Theodotus, daughter of Aeus, to the snake's tail, the crocodile's mouth, the ram's horns, the asp's poison, the cat's whiskers, the god's appendage, so that you may never be able to have sex with another man, not to be shagged or be buggered or give a blowjob, nor do anything that brings you pleasure with another man, unless I alone, Ammonion, the son of Hermitaris, am that man. Make this erotic binding spell work so that Theodotus may no longer be penetrated by a man other than me alone, Ammonion, the son of Hermitaris. Dragged in slavery, driven crazy, taking to the air in search of Ammonion, that she may rub her thigh on my thigh, her genitals to my genitals, for sex with me for the rest of my life. So this one is humorous because we get an exhaustive list of all the ways one might have sex with someone. He's very careful to get them all covered in there. There's no loopholes. I also find it interesting that in both of these spells, the stipulation is not that she not have sex with anyone else as long as she lives, but as long as he lives, the speaker, right? She's not supposed to have sex with anyone as long as he's alive, but I guess he doesn't care <laughs> once he's dead and that's uh, somewhat thoughtful, maybe, I guess. This next spell is a recipe written by Ostanis. And this one, when you make your mixture, you actually put it on her genitals, not on yours. And this one is supposed to curse her to not only not have sex with other people, but to not have sex with anyone ever, period. So it seems to be less about controlling or keeping someone from cheating and more about just punishing someone for offending you. If the genitals of a woman are smeared with the blood of a tick from a wild black bull, she will find sex repellent and love too. If she drinks the urine of a bull, if she drinks the urine of a billy goat with spike nard mixed in to disguise the disgusting taste. Unlike all the other spells on our list, I will say that this one might actually work to some extent because I know I personally, if I had tick smeared all over my genitals, I would be turned off from sex for quite a while. <laughs> 
Last but not least, we have an inscription on a tomb in Cyprus that is supposed to discourage grave robbers. I will seize his neck like a goose. His face will be spat at. A donkey will rape him. A donkey will rape his wife. He will be cooked together with the condemned. There you have it, folks. Some very entertaining spells and curses around love and lust in the ancient world. Let me know if any of them work for you. Special thank you, as always, to subscribers and to Patreon members, and I hope to see all of you again next week. Karate.